Have you ever wondered why people get so scared of your M staff when you're walking it around the block? Well, the truth is this dog was originally a fighting dog before the 1900s, after which it was eventually bred to be a family dog, and that misconception of it being very aggressive still lingers in the shadows. Surprised? Well, we're about to shock you even more. Fortunately for you, you've come to the right place because in today's video, we're going to tell you five things you probably never knew about your M staff. So, Sit tight as you learn so much more about this breed. Number 5. Originated from the UK Considering that the Amstaff became popular in the US only after the American Kennel Club formally accepted it, you can probably guess that its origin doesn't really lie in the US. You're right about that. This breed first originated in the British Isles. In fact, its full name, American Staffordshire Terrier, is a reference to where it is said to originate from. Staffordshire a landlocked country in the West Midlands region of England. The ancestors of this dog are thought to be Mastiff-type dogs. Before we continue, make sure to check the links in the description. We found the best deals for online dog training, dog supplies, pet insurance, and more. What are you waiting for? And while most of this ancestral information is lost now, what we do know is that all bull and terrier-type dogs of England evolved into three main breeds we know today. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the Bull Terrier, and the American Staffordshire Terrier. Nonetheless, the breed didn't make its way to the US until the middle of the 19th century, and it's at this point that the American locals began to breed bigger and better dogs, and by 1936, the AKC finally accepted them as a US breed, one that was much more popular than its British ancestors. Number 4. Dark History and Reputation it's never been smooth sailing for the Amstaff to be perfectly honest, even before it made its way to the US. The Amstaff had garnered a reputation as a fierce and aggressive dog in the fighting pits all over the UK. These dogs would take on any other dog or large animal like bears, and such in fighting rings. So much so that it is still widely believed that Amstaffs were bred for fighting purposes only, just like its ancestors were, and so they have been considered to be a wild and dangerous breed a label that has gotten them banned from several countries. Even the US, along with other countries like Canada, Ireland, and the UK, have breed-specific legislation surrounding the Amstaff that controls the conditions for owning this breed. Number 3. Bred not to be aggressive towards humans After learning about your pet's violent history, you've probably been very confused about what your pet dog really is, because the dog you know is very gentle and loving. In fact, most owners know their Amstaff to be a loyal companion that's not only good to them, but good to the young and other members of the family as well. Some might even go as far as to say that you might never have a more trustworthy friend than the Amstaff, and here's why. While these dogs were originally bred to be aggressive towards other animals, they were bred not to be violent against their human handlers. In fact, any Amstaff that was aggressive to its trainer was unfortunately put down immediately. Shame that that's what it took to make such a companion. Number 2. Intelligent Breed Apart from its docile nature towards humans, the Amstaff is considered to be one of the most intelligent dog breeds to own. This might come as a surprise, but now it might also make more sense as to how and why it's able to pick up new tricks easily. These canines are known to have an exceptional temperament, even surpassing the Beagle, another good-tempered breed. Combine these and you have one amazing dog in your home. Number 1. Health the Amstaff is a very healthy breed and can live for 12 to 16 years. However, you should still schedule regular visits to look out for skin allergies, UTIs, and congenital heart disease, and monitor your dog closely so that it can enjoy the most out of life. With that, our video has come to an end here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more pets and dog-related content. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.